Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Excel 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to save a file. Let's get started. So on Excel here, I have created a blank workbook and I want to save this file. Well, I first need to go right here to this button and this is your file tab and when you click that it's going to open your backstage view. If you go right here to save it's going to bring up the save as area and so whenever you click save or save as you need to think about what you're trying to do. Now if it's the first time that you save a file it's not going to just let you click save it's going to say save as. What save as is is that's when you have to save the file and you have to choose a location or a name for the file. Since this is my first time saving it, I don't have a location for the file and I don't have a name for the file. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to choose browse and this will help me choose my name and location. So once again, I went to the file tab, I went to save as, and I went to browse. That's going to open up this dialog box for save as and what this allows me to do is choose my files location and my files name. I'm going to choose the location from the left side and I'll choose the desktop for this example and then right here it will show me any current files that are also Excel files in that folder and then I can go right down here and look at my file name. I'm going to call this one how to save a workbook. Alright, so I've chosen my file name, I see that it's an Excel workbook, and then I can click save. Notice now that once I've saved my file, up in the top middle it says how to save a workbook.xlsx. That's the file name and the file extension, so that's good. Now that the file has a name and it has a location, I want you to see the difference if I try to save the file. If I go to the file tab, and I go right here to save, it's actually going to allow me to save it. The reason is, is it's overwriting the name and location for the file that it was pr previously at. Okay, and so that basically means I have an updated version. It's now saved. Now keep in mind, if you ever want to change the name of the file or change the location of the file, you're going to need to go to save as rather than save. So I'll show you an example here. File, save as, and then I go to browse. I'll see my original file right there, how to save a workbook, and I'll call this one Saving Workbooks. And then I click Save. And now my file's name has changed, even the location has not. So basically, when you go to Save As, you need to change either the name or the location for it to be accepted. And now I see if I close my file, that I have both of my files here on my desktop, how to save a workbook, as well as saving workbooks. So that's the first one and the second one that I made in this example. So that's the difference between file uh, save as and file save. Remember, file save as is either the first time that you're saving a file or if you need to change the file name or location. And file save is for when you are saving it the second time through however many times after that, as long as you want to keep the same name and location for the file. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about saving workbooks. If it's been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.